We've purchased some designs from Embroidery Library and now we're going to download them to our computer. This is the screen you'll see when your order is complete and you've already paid. These are the designs you purchased. We're going to take a look here and I'll explain a few things. You'll notice that there is the design in this column and it looks like it's a link. We'll go to that later but that link will take you to the color change sheet if you'd like to download that or print it so you have it for your records. The next column tells you what format you purchased the design in. Your machine will use either PEZ or DST files so go ahead and buy PEZ whenever it's available which is almost always. And then the next column you can choose to download your file as unzipped or zipped. Sometimes you will not have a choice and it will only be zipped that usually happens when you've bought a package because there are several designs in the package it makes a large file for downloading and zipping it makes it quicker to download. In the next column you'll see you can have it sent to your email address if you like either as an unzipped file or zipped. I rarely use this but sometimes I have if I'm at work and I'm shopping embroidery library and I'm not at my own computer because I'm using my work computer I'll choose to have it sent to my email address so when I get home from work it's sitting there in the email ready for me. Over here you'll notice how much you paid for it. These were some free designs I had got um, but normally it would tell you the item price, any discount, and the price that you actually paid for the design. Right now we're going to download the first spring butterfly medallion so click unzipped when the pop-up window comes up, choose Save File, OK, and then it's going to ask you where you want to save this file. I want to save it in a folder I created in Embird, so I have to find my files. So I'm going to C, Program Files, and I'll go down to Embird here are the files and then here are a lot of folders I have made within that. I'm going to download them to I made a special one here let's see designs downloaded you can put them wherever makes sense for you so I click once there it'll tell me there's nothing else in this file right now in this folder so I'm gonna go ahead and download it there You'll see the name here. If you want to change the name, you can do that now. We could go Butterfly Medallion and then click Save and it'll download. We'll go on to the next one. That's another medallion. Click once. Save File. OK. Now you are already in that folder. It remembered from before. So I'm going to rename this one butterfly medallion 2. And I can just hit the enter key on my computer to download it and save it. You can go through each one like this and download each one but right now what I'm going to show you is how to get your color change sheet if you'd like that. Click on the name of the design and it'll come up and show you the color change sheet and a picture. You can choose to print this without the image which means it will just give you this list or print with the image. I'm going to choose printable with images. It'll bring up a page where you can now go to the top of your computer and go to file print and it'll print for you. I'm not going to do that right now because I am not connected to a printer but that's easy as that. All you have to do is click print and it will send it to your printer for you. We're finished with that. I'm going to go back and I'm taken back to my order page and I can do that for the next one. Here's another one. I can if I'm on this page and decide I don't want to print it just use the back arrow on your browser click once to be taken back. Here's another design in the color sheet and I can choose printable with images 
File, Print. I hope this answers some questions for you about how to download your designs and how to print the color page. Thank you.